Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an app for the iPad for you. There's an iPhone version as well. It's called Vocal Search. Now this is going to be a great application if we can't really use our hands or if something that we're looking for is uh, really long. We can use our voice to simply search for it and then use our device with it. So what we do is we open up the application here and the first thing that it wants us to do is set our language which we have already done in this application. But if we hit the settings here uh, we can do that again. You can see we can go into the languages and search between all these different languages we can set. Ours is English US, so we're going to save it at that. We can also change our search engine and our Yahoo search to uh, the different types. You can see ours is going to be the default, uh, but there are different ones where we can have it search as well. Now we can have this detect end of speech option on and off. Now that is going to be great if we are in maybe a uh, quiet room or something like that. We could easily uh, go into here and uh, turn that on so that we don't have to use our hands to uh, tell it when we're done talking. It'll just automatically detect that. Uh, but if not, what we can do is we can leave that off and uh, it won't detect that. We can just use our hands. So what we're going to do here is we're going to press this tap to talk button and we're going to enter a search term. Find me pizza nearby. We hit the done button and it is going to process that information for us here. So you see we are now searching. It's going to find me pizza nearby and there's going to be all the uh, pizza results right here. Now what I can do is I can uh, slide over here to uh, view different uh, places that we could search. See, I can do Google, uh, Wikipedia, Daily Motion, Flickr even and do those and then I can hit this microphone button if I want to search again. Now if I swipe with two fingers I can actually go back and forward uh, within this app uh, so if maybe I needed to do a different um, website I could simply go back and it'll easily allow me to do that so that's going to be great as well back and forward just with two fingers you can see it opens up uh, that uh, little arrow there and it'll navigate me through that so I can press this home button as well come back home start a new search do whatever I want to do with that Now I can press this little information button here and that will tell me a little bit more about search the following topics for examples and things like that. So it's going to be a great application for us to be able to use not only our voice but also uh, our hands too if we want to uh, continue searching through it. So once again this application is available for the iPad. There's an iPhone version as well. It's called Vocal Search. If you like it be sure to pick it up in the App Store today.